and culture. The two things that define us as Trinbegonians. It chronicles our development as a country. I mean, when you hear sparrows sing, Gina and Dina, Rosita and Clementina, okay. Do you think you know? You too. And now when people are listening to soca and dancing to hip hop. <laughs> you know in the era of globalization. And the Ministry of Trade and Industry is working hard to ensure that our music and entertainment industry grows to the point where it is a highly marketable commodity in the global economy. Nowhere is local talent showcased more than at our annual carnival celebrations, often called the greatest show on earth. That talent soon began to fuse with their North American counterparts. Calypso spawned modern-day soca music with heavy hip-hop influences. Performers became noticed on the international stage and suddenly the local market was being forced to develop more sophisticated operations just to be able to meet the demands of a larger and a more diverse audience. By far the biggest revenue generating the local music and entertainment industry, Carnival produces well over 150 million TT dollars annually, employing about 3,500 people. The Trinidad and Tobago Entertainment Company, a statutory agency that falls under the Ministry of Trade and Industry, partners with organizations like Pan Trinbago, the National Carnival Commission, and COT to ensure that artists' interests are protected even as they are made export ready. Our music and entertainment industry is far-reaching, extending to not only musicians of every genre imaginable, but also to sound engineering, theater, the visual and performing arts, fabric design, dance, photography, video production, painting, even advertising and event promotion. The entire sector makes over 350 million TT dollars per year and employs about 11,000 people, making it one of the fastest growing and most profitable non-energy sectors being developed by the Ministry of Trade and Industry. There is a global demand for culture that translates into bottom line profits for industries like music and entertainment, about 2.2 trillion US dollars worth, with a growth rate of about 5% a year. As it stands now, developed nations take the lion's share of those profits as the leading exporters of cultural fare. But the Ministry of Trade and Industry wants to see local performers get a more significant piece of that pie. Through solid investment incentives and continued institutional support, the Ministry is well on its way to making our local entertainment industry globally competitive. Critical to all of this is continuous training and education. And when we say training and education, we don't just simply mean at the tertiary level, but that from primary school, we continue to develop an environment where our children are aware of the importance of the arts and culture. So that it means, therefore, that our education system as well must become more cognizant and must become, a more, fa become more favorable towards the end, the end result, that being viable careers in the entertainment industry. The potential for music and entertainment is limitless. Mm -hmm. Boy, I'm so excited. Thank you, darling. I'm so excited about what the ministry is doing. Because, Why? Because Trinidad and Tobago is the cultural capital of the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have everything from carnival to arts to music. Oh, God, we're so diverse. And we're already getting recognized for it. For real? Yeah. So, can music has its own category in the Grammys, you know? You're lying. <laughs> And international recording labels are investing in young talent. Wonderful. So there's opportunity for co-financing agreements and investments in brick and mortar. Performance spaces like this one, recording studios, mm, a training facilities for the arts. Oh my god. And events. And you know how we like our entertainment. <laughs> events. <laughs> <laughs> Entertainment is not only relegated to the performing arts, it also encompasses the fine arts, an area in which local talent is already garnering a lot of international interest. There are a lot of international foundations and um, ministries of culture from all over the world who have seen the Caribbean as the quintessential melting pot and they have supported our artists, our musicians, our, published, our authors and publishers more than we have in the Caribbean ourselves. What we 
What I ideally like to see more of is that we look at how those policies were developed um, and use those as models for ourselves in this country and in this region because when it comes down to it, we're known all over the world not because we have oil and gas, we're known because we have extraordinary music and we have an extraordinary event which is Carnival. Significant opportunities for investment have also emerged in the realm of music festivals and events. The Ministry of Trade and Industry has introduced several measures to encourage investment in the music and entertainment sector. A 150% tax rebate on money spent on music or entertainment related projects, up to a million TT dollars. Tax exemptions of up to seven years on profits from those projects. No customs duties on the importation of musical instruments and other industry related electronic items. The opportunity for foreign investors to buy up to 30% shareholding in a public company. So if you want to be a cultural entrepreneur, now is the time. <laughs> Plan, soca, performance and drama. The Ministry of Trade and Industry is making it easier for you and... So when black lyrics make it big, mm. I could say I know you when. Who you mean? <laughs> well, they wouldn't be seeing me on any stage. Mm. But the Ministry efforts are benefiting me too. Mm. Because I... I'm a lover of culture. Yeah, lover. I am a lover of culture. <laughs> <I'm a> lover. <laughs> yeah, and they happen to raise the standards. Mm. You know how good I feel to see our local talent being recognized internationally? Mm. And that same national pride is just one way music and entertainment can bring us closer together. <laughs> <laughs> so much times I hear them ladies complain inside of the yeah. dance. Yeah. They want to rock back in and go on with them and a romance.